What is up? It is Daniel from Oversoon. Uh, I'll tell you what's up. Nicholas Cage is up there, my fan. Welcome to Honestly Behind the Production Part 1 The Overview. Let's jump right in. This is the whole project. Uh, let me expand things out a little bit so you can see them. We group our logic projects super intentionally. We put the important stuff first, i.e. the stuff that we play live on stage. So uh, for our vocals, we have the lead vocal, two doubled vocals, which is basically the main line that I'm singing as the lead vocal, but sung two more times exactly the same. It just thickens up the vocal, as well as this thing here. It's called a whisper track. Basically, I just whispered the whole dang song. I'll solo that out for you. which is super creepy, but it if you mix it down enough, it just adds a little bit of air to the vocal. So here's the lead vocal all by itself. I swear that and then the with the doubled and the whispers. When I took a look at the faces. Yeah. Normally I do a lot more harmonies for a project. This one, I kind of only put some harmonies in this pre-chorus, the second pre-chorus. I'll show you what that sounds like. It's kind of interesting. And then in context of the song. Oh, I don't hear it anymore, but and then, of course, the background vocal stack. Ba da da da, da 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 da. Probably the most iconic part of the song is this me, Jordan, Jared, and our buddy Eric in the basement of my parents' house just going at it. There's also some widening going on and some harmonics and slap reverb and everything. So we tried to make that sound like a lot more than four people. I think it's a lot of fun. Here's what I'm going to say about the drums. Jordan played them acoustically, but we put what's called triggers on the kit, which meant that as he played it acoustically, it recorded the information that he played. So for instance, when he played the kick, all these little dots are every time that he played the kick. And then we just replaced all of the MIDI information with our own kick sounds. When we kick into the chorus and it goes, but honestly, there's the kick snare open hi-hat. It normally sounds like this. So to make that sound just a little bit chunkier, we added on this kick snare hi-hat. We just made it a little more uh, fun overall. Just sets up the chorus pretty nice. And for Jared's bass, we recorded it just direct into the interface. Honestly, nothing fancy going on. Turned Jared's bass into MIDI informations. We ran it through like a tonal drum sound. Just like a high-end click. And then we also added like a much lower key bass that had a lot of um, sub frequencies in it. So Jared's bass sounded a little bit dry on its own, but adding the click in the sub just brings a lot of body. And then finally onto the keys, the first keys is just kind of a fairly standard electric piano sound that I got off of my Roland. And then Jordan found this synth called the Funny Cat, which had kind of a wah-wah-wah sound to it. But it was a little too, like, wet on its own, and so adding back in the original keys... I almost forgot to mention, we put this growler bass in the pre-chorus, which really, really makes it punch. This is where the pre-chorus sounded like almost up until we finished the song. Can you hear the voice and it's not bad, but I just needed something to tie it all together, and this growler bass is what did the trick. I'll solo it first. Now listen to that back again with the pre-chorus. Just gives it so much more stability. Can you 
literally for that reason, the pre-chorus is probably my favorite part of the song. So if you were to put together the vocals, drums, bass, and keys, it would pretty much sound like the song Honestly, because they're what makes up the core of the song. Here's the beginning of Honestly with just those pieces. Which is essentially the song. That's the core of the song. Back into the book and look at 